Bukit Panjang since I was five years old and this is where I grew up. My mom's place is just across the road. You can actually see her house from here. And across the road is also my primary school. When I look out to this place, it was just a piece of jungle. And now it's where I live. If I had to describe my dream home, it would be a warm and cosy space for my family to come back to. And I want my home to be where love resides, my sanctuary. I had that picture perfect flat in my mind. In fact, I had already decided on a color palette and had pieces of furniture picked out. My girls and I also love to bake, so I definitely had a dream kitchen that I saw us spending a lot of time in. However, I wasn't sure how all these ideas would materialize until I took my plans to Absolute. After meeting Taza and going through her requirements with her, we tried to work within her budget. We tried to retain the structure of the whole house and just uh, suggested hacking down one of the walls within the, the kitchen, which is hacked into half, and to do a panel of clear glass in order to make the kitchen look more spacious and more neat and tidy. I was thinking it would be a good idea if we can creatively divide the living room area into a more usable space. For example, entertaining my guests and at the same time keeping an eye on the girls. But I was very sceptical initially because the space is already very limited and I want to divide it further. But Lionel proved that it is possible. I was so happy. It started off as just an idea in my head and then there I was standing right in the middle of it all. It was amazing to see how the space transformed. Zaza Taste is quite adventurous and she was more keen of uh, contemporary design. So I uh, actually come up with a theme of a house throughout a flat with the use of ships. Just like the bomb shelter feature wall, whereby we carve out using triangles with mirrors and lamination together with the tic tac door to actually conceal the existing uh, bomb shelter so that it's not so obvious in the first glance. For Zaza's kitchen, what we actually come up with a floating kitchen cabinet with the lightings underneath it to create a longer walkway for her kitchen. For her bedroom passageway, we actually come up with the ideas of using co flight uh, L box with both side effect so that it creates a longer uh, bedroom corridor passageway. Every lady loves a walk-in wardrobe and I also preferred it to be covered and that's just what I got. For Zaza's bedroom, what we did is to use the white brick effect together with the cold flight effect to create the more cosier ambience. In order for us to work within Zaza's budget, uh, we actually retained the wall and the floor tiles. What we did is to do up the storage cabinet with top and bottom uh, to, for a better usability. The girls were so excited, they even picked out their own furnitures. In fact, the, their furnitures were the first pieces that are being picked out for the house. And they love pink. When I asked them what colour they want their room to be, so it's going to be pink. And when I brought my ideas to Lionel, Lionel suggested a Wonderland kind of approach or theme. I'm just so happy that I decided to go with Absolute. Building my home was a true partnership with them because they believe in working hand-in-hand -hand with their clients so that they can deliver top-notch work to satisfied homeowners like myself. Now, I have my dream home. Thank you, Absolute.